Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about three steps to quickly grow your trading capital from zero. And this is perfect for anybody that's working with less than say $100,000, or if you just wanna add anywhere in between 11 to $25,000 in the next 12 weeks. And those are real numbers. I know that kinda of sounds like clickbait, but I'm gonna back everything up that I'm showing you in this episode um, with not only my own test results, but somebody who's taken this much further than me. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the number one question that I get literally every single day of my life is, Chris, how do I grow my trading capital with minimal risk? And the problem with the financial markets, even though I'm a fan of Bitcoin and the stock market and you know just financial markets in general, the problem is that there is significant risk in the financial markets. You know, even the best traders on the planet lose anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of the time. And so new traders typically get run over. You know, over 90 percent of traders actually lose in the financial markets. And so I think for a lot of people, it's a good idea to learn the fundamentals of what trading is at its core. You know, a lot of people think of, you know, trading as sitting down and looking at crazy charts on the computer, but at the end of the day, trading is simply taking an asset or taking a product or taking something for and buying it at one value and then selling it for a different value and keeping the difference. At its fundamental core, that's what trading is. And over the years, things have just become more complex. You know, now we have financial derivatives, we have online marketplaces, we're now starting to see the emergence of decentralized marketplaces like Open Bazaar. And so what I want to do in this episode is show you how you can actually start with zero dollars and grow that into anywhere in between 11 to 25 grand in 12 weeks. So step number one is you're gonna start by sourcing free things to trade. What does that mean? Well, you wanna start by just taking a look around your house. You know, what can actually sell for more than $50 online or locally, you know, either online places like Amazon or eBay or locally Craigslist or one of the many apps that are out there. And what you want to do is look for about two to five hundred dollars worth of stuff that you already own that you can live without and sell for cash. Now I did this a few weeks ago. I took an old cell phone that I wasn't using anymore and my wife took a pair of shoes and a purse and we sold that and made a little over $400, okay? So that was our experiment. Step one is we said, okay, let's take some stuff that we can live without, let's sell it on eBay um, and locally. So I sold a couple of things locally and I sold a couple of things on eBay and we raised over 400 bucks. Now step number two is where things start to get really fun and interesting. And when I first heard of this, I shunned it. I was like, okay, well, you know, that may or may not work. I don't know if it will work. It's not really sexy. I don't know if it will work for people around the country, let alone around the world. But I had a friend that started this way and, and used this process and turned it into a six figure income within his first year. And so I was like really interested. And so I decided to test it. So what is step number two? Step number two is you want to find high margin items to trade. Now, where do you do that? Well, and again, guys, I've actually tested this. So I'm speaking from experience, even though I'm still kind of a newbie, I've only been at this a few weeks, the test has been wildly successful. So if you're somebody, again, with less than a hundred grand worth of investment capital or trading capital, this is a really, really good way to grow that quickly. Okay, so here's what you do. You take the money from step one and you spend three hours, you know, so the times that I found that work best are 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning at garage sales. Yes, garage sales. I know it's not the sexiest thing. It's not, you know, something that you think of like working on Wall Street or prestigious, but again, we're talking about money. Do you want to look cool or do you want to make money? Because here's the thing, the average profit margin when garage sale items sell on eBay is 462%. 
And I don't want you to take my word for that. That's on this site, Statistic Brain. And if you look down here, you can see the average profit margin when you list items purchased to be resold on eBay is 462%. Guys, that is a huge margin. And I don't know any trader that can go into the financial markets and consistently make 462% in three hours on a Saturday morning, right? with very, very small risk. That's the key thing too, is you have to look at risk to reward. And when you do this, the risk is so incredibly small compared to the reward, it just makes a lot of sense to do it. So, do this every Saturday morning for three months. That could net you anywhere in between $11,000 to $27,000 in extra capital just by waking up early on a Saturday morning. It sounds really incredible and it is. Like at first I didn't know how easy or difficult this was gonna be, but a little bit later I'm gonna show you the results that I got and also tell you what my friend's been doing. So just a few more interesting stats about garage sales. You know, there's an average of 165,000 garage sales every week in the US alone. And the average price of a garage sale item is only 85 cents. So look guys, it requires very, very little capital. And I've bought several hundred items just in the past two or three weeks and have gotten really close to that 460% figure. It's, it's amazing how accurate that actually is. And there's over $4 million in weekly revenue from garage sales. That's just you know what the people running the garage sales make, but that equates to a little over $19 million in potential reselling revenue every single week. So a lot of people like think of garage sales as just like, you know, one's man's, one man's trash is another man's trash, but really it is treasure. Like there is stuff in there that you can flip for really, really big gains. And if you do it consistently within the span of a couple of months, you're going to be really surprised at how much money and capital um, you can generate. So once you master the art of doing and profiting from garage sales, you can scale your income as big as you want by sourcing products from other places. You know, for example, um, I actually worked with some local wholesalers on my first week doing this. I got a deal that I bought some security equipment, just some home security equipment from a company that was going out of business. They just wanted to get rid of it. I got it for about 20% of retail and basically quadrupled my money. And granted, it was only a couple thousand dollars, but if you do that a couple of times a week, that adds up. And when the momentum gets going, it's incredible how fast it starts building. Like I'm a swing trader, so I'm used to things moving kind of slow and making anywhere from 15 to 30% at a trade. But when you can literally make two, three, 400% on these trades, a few times a week, it really starts to add up. It's, it's really fun too. So um, there's also auctions and inventory closeout sales where you can acquire huge lots of fast selling products at extremely discounted wholesale prices. So what do you do whenever you finish those three steps? When you take your free products and you turn those into garage sale revenue and you take the garage sale revenue and you scale that up into other trade opportunities, then you simply reinvest your profits and continue to grow wealth. This is where I think people would do really well starting to trade financial markets, trading or investing in real estate, um, and opening up more physical product trading, more avenues and more income streams. But I think the biggest mistake that I see new traders make, and again, I get this email at least once every single day of my life, which is Chris, I have a thousand dollars or I have $5,000 or I even have $10,000 and I want to get rich trading. Well, my response is always the same. Like you have to have realistic expectations. If you're expecting to turn a thousand dollars into multi millions in the financial markets, can it happen? Yes. Has it happened? Yes. Is it likely to happen? It's one in a million guys. So I go for the high probability play. You know, I would rather have a thousand successful students that go out and g tell me like, Chris, this worked. It was low risk. I didn't blow up. I, you know, I didn't lose a ton of money and I now have consistent income. I would rather have that than have one success story of somebody that turned a thousand into a million, right? So I actually am doing a class this week 
with Ryan Roots. So you guys have probably seen him in the past couple of vlog episodes and the last uh, Pathways to Wealth interview that I did. So Ryan actually did this process. He took $200 and he's now turned it into over a $20,000 a month income stream. And I actually flew to Tampa to see his warehouse. I'm like, okay, man, I've known you for a while. Where did this come from? Like he was, he had another business, he sold that business and then he moved into this and he literally started at a garage sale with $200 and, it, and now is just absolutely crushing it. And so I actually flew to Tampa, went saw his warehouse, and then he came out to Austin to see if we could make it work here. And it's working. So I tested his method and I've started seeing over 450% ROI. Let me show you this. So this is my resale report. This is something we just kind of slapped together. You know, again, we've only been doing this like two, maybe three weeks. And here's what happened. So we started buying stuff. You can see any, anything from like BB fur boots to home security equipment to coach purses and wallet, Harley Davidson jacket, you know, just the craziest stuff. Um, Versace sunglasses. Um, also books, I've started finding books that sell for you know, anywhere from 20 to $100. Um, and basically what I've spent so far was $1,469. And the listing prices that we have all these at now is $69.85. So that's a 475% gross return. Now, you're gonna have shipping costs, you're gonna have like online seller fees and stuff like that. And what Ryan typically looks to do is double his money. But you can, it's what I've seen is it's very reasonable to expect a four to 500% ROI, gross ROI from the garage sales and the wholesalers are even, even higher. And look, I mean, I'm not making this up. This is actually right in line with what the average is on Statistic Brain. So this, is, this stuff is real, guys. And the reason why I'm spending so much time showing you this is because of the amount of people that I talk to on a daily basis that are in that situation where they're like, look, I need trading capital. And I just feel bad because I'm like, honestly, trading the financial markets, it's a good thing to learn and you can make money with it. But to have the expectation that you're going to quickly turn a thousand into a million just really isn't realistic where this is. Right? So my suggestion, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not here giving you financial advice, but what I think is reasonable is taking money, trading physical products, learn, I mean, you're gonna learn so many valuable skills, negotiation, um, how to value products, how to think in terms of wholesale retail, and once you do that and grow your capital in a low risk environment like this, you're gonna be able to, again, go into the financial markets, go into real estate, open up bigger uh, avenues and opportunities. For example, I mean, this is moving so fast for me that I've literally already been sourcing products from China and have samples in my office for a prototype on a product that we're improving. And I don't even think we're gonna do a patent because things are moving so quickly. I also just became a distributor for one of the hottest um, consumer products that you guys will see really soon that uh, it had a massive Kickstarter campaign and now they're selling these things as fast as they can. So anyway, look guys, we're gonna be doing a webinar this week. I want you guys there. If you have less than 100 grand in your account or if you just wanna add 10 to 25 grand in the next few months, um, this is such a viable way to do it and Ryan knows and has practiced this in Australia and we have people in Europe that are doing this right now. So it's not just the States, it's any kind of place where there's a population, right? If you're in a town of like 200 people, this probably won't work. But if you're in a reasonable sized town or city, this is a very, very viable option for you. So um, we're gonna be talking about how he finds the best products to trade because if you do this wrong, you can lose money. So he's gonna show you the products he looks for, how he buys, how he sells, and basically the whole process from A to Z so you can go out and start doing this. Um, and then also the four best pr places to source products locally. What this is not, guys, this isn't some bullshit um, drop shipping thing. Like, you know, you, there have been a lot of these product launches over the past 
few years where they're talking about drop shipping where all you have to do is um, set up a website and be the middleman and connect the dots and never leave your house or do any work. That just doesn't work. This is real. Ryan is doing this every day. I started doing this as a test and it's turning out to be something that is just really, really incredible. And I see the people that have been kind of following me on social media, how well they've been doing with it in a really short period of time of just a few weeks since I started talking about this. So, you know, my mission with Chris Dunn TV, the YouTube channel, the blog, everything that I do is to help you guys learn through my successes and failures. You know, I'm kind of like this guinea pig who's out there like testing all these different things and on my own journey towards uh, financial freedom. And one thing that I think is really important is just to look at this whole idea as a process. Learn skills, create income, invest the profits, right? And that's what this is. If you have a little bit of capital right now, I'm showing you an option to where if you work at it, and again, not everybody's gonna succeed at this. It takes work. It takes getting off your ass and putting in effort. But if you're willing to do that, this is a really viable way to make that happen. So um, I'm gonna include a link somewhere uh, in this episode. Um, if you wanna come to that webinar, it's gonna be really fun. Ryan's been working on it for several weeks now and I know he's gonna bring a lot of value. So if you guys got value from this episode, if you're watching it on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Share this with anybody that you think would benefit from it. You know, if you have a friend or a cousin or something in a different city or state or country and they're looking to build capital or maybe get out of a job that they hate, see if this is something that they could uh, do well with. So um, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna sign off and I will see you in the next episode and I'll see you on the webinar. Take care.